Yinghu-1 was a Chinese Mars exploration space probe, intended to be the first Chinese spacecraft to orbit Mars. It was launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan, on 8 November 2011, along with the Russian Phobos Grunt Sample Return spacecraft, which was intended to visit Mars moon Phobos. The 115 kg 250 lb Yinghu-01 probe was intended by the CNSA to orbit Mars for about two years, studying the planet's surface, atmosphere, ionosphere and magnetic field. Shortly after launch, Phobos Grunt was expected to perform two burns to depart Earth orbit bound for Mars. However, these burns did not take place, leaving both probes stranded in orbit. On 17 November 2011, Chinese state media reported that Yinghu-01 had been declared lost by the CNSA. After a period of orbital decay, Yinghu-01 and Phobos Grunt underwent destructive re-entry on 15 January 2012, finally disintegrating over the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Name Yinghuo-1's name simplified Chinese, Yinghuo traditional Chinese, Yinghuo pinyin, Yinghuo firefly, literally, luminous fire was a tribute to the near homophone Yingo simplified Chinese, Yinghuo traditional Chinese, Yinghuo pinyin, Yingo. This word, a short form of shimmering planet. Yinghuo Xing is an ancient Chinese name for Mars. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Background. On the 26th of March 2007, the director of the China National Space Administration, Sun Lian, and the head of the Russian Space Agency, Anatoly Permanov, signed a landmark space cooperation accord, entitled the Cooperative Agreement between the China National Space Administration and the Russian Space Agency on Joint Chinese-Russian Exploration of Mars. One stipulation of the agreement was the construction and launch of the Yingo Mars Orbiter and its Russian counterpart, Phobos Grunt. Instruments and objectives Yinghuo-1's primary scientific objectives were to conduct detailed investigation of the plasma environment and magnetic field around Mars. To study Martian ion escape processes and their possible mechanisms. To conduct ionosphere occultation measurements between Yinghu-01 and Phobos Grunt, focusing on the sub-solar and midnight regions. To observe sandstorms on the Martian surface, the probe's science payload consisted of four instrument A plasma package, consisting of an electron analyzer, ion analyzer and mass spectrometer. A fluxgate magnetometer. A radio occultation sounder. An optical imaging system consisting of two cameras with 200 meters 660 feet resolution for high-quality images of the Martian surface to be captured from orbit. Topic. Mission profile 
Following its transit to Mars, YINGHU-01 was planned to separate from Phobos Grunt in October 2012 and enter a 72.8 hour equatorial Martian orbit, with an orbital inclination of approximately 5 degrees. Phobos Grunt and YINGHU-01 would have conducted Mars ionosphere occultation experiments together, although Phobos Grunt's primary objective was to obtain surface samples from the Martian moon Phobos. YINGHU-01 would have experienced periods of up to 8.8 .8 hours in darkness when its orbit carried it over Mars nightside, it would have run on battery power during these periods, as its solar panels would have been unusable without direct sunlight. Topic. Launch processing. On 17 October 2011, the completed YINGHU-01 satellite arrived at Baikonur Cosmodrome with Phobos Grunt, beginning payload processing operations in preparation for its November launch. Topic. Launch and orbital burn failure China's YINGHU-01 and the Russian Phobos Grunt spacecraft were launched together aboard a Ukrainian Zenit rocket with a frigate upper stage from Baikonur Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan, on 8 November 2011. Shortly after launch, Phobos Grunt was expected to perform two burns to depart Earth orbit and begin its journey to Mars. However, these burns did not take place, stranding the two spacecraft in their parking orbit. Despite repeated efforts to contact the launcher and rectify the problem, the spacecraft continued to lose altitude. On 17 November, Chinese state media formally declared the YINGHU-01 probe lost, and the launcher's orbit gradually began to decay. Topic. Destructive re-entry On 14 January 2012, it was reported that Phobos Grunt and YINGHU-01 were beginning their final descent into Earth's atmosphere, falling at a rate of several hundred meters per hour from their 147-kilometre orbital altitude. The two spacecraft completed their re-entry and disintegrated over the Pacific Ocean on 15 January 2012. Specifications Length, 0.75 m excluding solar panels Width, 0.75 meters, 2.5 feet. Height, 0.6 meters, 2.0 feet. Mass, 115 kilograms, 254 pounds. Power, 3 axis stabilized, 2 times 3 section solar array with a full extended length of 5.6 meters, 18 feet, providing average power of 90W, and peak power of 180W. HGA, 950 mm antenna dish S -band with a 12W transmitter in two frequencies 8.4 and 7.17 GHz and a data rate between 8-bit, S and 16 kilobits per second. LGA, 80-bit, S data rate. See also Mars Global Remote Sensing Orbiter and Small Rover, a Chinese Mars mission scheduled for 2020 
Chinese Lunar Exploration Program, better known as the Chang'e series of missions List of missions to Mars <laughs>